Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this week's, oh, are we? Are we slanted? We're we doing a thrift haul. I this is really exciting to me because this is actually how I originally started off this channel, and I just feel like I'm coming full circle. Um, I haven't thrifted in years, and I got back into it, and it's like I never left. I'm gonna have this video categorized in chapters for you guys if there's a certain section you like. Basics are such a good thing to pick up from the thrift store. I was on the hunt for some like good looking camis and I picked up quite a few of them. This little black one here is such a pretty piece. It, I was a little bit confused how to wear this because one side is a v-neck and then one side is a scoop so I think I can wear it um, both ways. The way I can tell it's gonna be a good cami is like if it has that like stretchy snug material and this is such a good simple everyday with like some yoga pants low-rise yoga pants which i'll get into in a moment found this beautiful pink one this is such a pretty piece i feel like this is supposed to be maybe lingerie i'm not sure i think i found this in the lingerie section which is such a good section to check out it has this cute little bow and it has the the v-neck and this one's not meant to really snatch you but just to be like a cute, chill, casual one, you know? Maybe with some like shorts or something. We're getting into the fall and I'm not gonna lie, there are some dark neutrals on my mind, but I'm still a color girl at heart. Um, this little orange one here was such a pretty one, I couldn't pass up. And I love when the straps are thin and dainty. They're just so pretty. I don't know, I like that. This one is a crop top. Um, which I don't mind. I feel like when I do bold color, I like small things. Like I like small handbags in bold color. Um, not like full length clothing pieces either. I don't know, don't call me. Sometimes I wear like a full jumpsuit or whatever. Also picked up a really good nudie one as well. And this one has that nice stretch factor to it. I think this with like green, like that rich green color in the winter is gonna be so pretty. Whenever I see this gray color, I always think of oversized light wash denim. Gray tanks and baggy jeans. Such a good everyday chill outfit with some like short Uggs. Yeah, also found one in this really pretty navy blue. I think I wanna crop this. I feel like this is a little bit too long. Like not to like the smallest part of my waist, but just like just above like my hip. Um, but I really like the color of this. This paired with like other navy blue items um, like these. Okay, so I have some active wear as well too. And like some active wear, mainly active wear bottoms. Look at these hot shorts. These Fila hot shorts. I was just randomly going by and I saw these and I was like, can my behind fit into a size small? We were gonna make it work. <laughs> they're really stretchy so um, I think they're a vibe. To be honest, I really reserve these for like a hot girl walk in my neighborhood because I just feel like if I step out like on road with this it's it's just gonna be a mess <laughs> I might stop traffic but these two together such a look I also found some really cute bags and like other accessories which I'm gonna sprinkle through each of the sections and I've been loving finding like vintagey looking cross necklaces like whenever they have like the wooden ones. So like the one I'm wearing right now is this like light wood color. Finding often came with like this little string detail. I feel like it was like arts and crafts that you used to do in like middle school. Cause it's like one of those cords where you can like pull it tighter to make it shorter and loosen it to make it longer. They're really cool. I also picked up one. I also picked up one in this like dark brown kind of color. This one's really nice. I like the different tones in this one. And I like that this one's a bit more subtle and small so it's just really nice that I can represent my faith through fashion so cute these I did not expect it. I was like what is that bright color because whenever I see bold color in the thrift store I'm like ooh um, and then I picked these up and they were medium so they actually <laughs> they're my actual size and these are really nice these are probably just reserved for the home if I ever wear like these hot shorts out I will definitely have to wear like an oversized hoodie or like something to cover my butt but yeah this is like super cute and this with yellow like a yellow top so good low rise yoga bottoms are a thing i was originally looking for a pair of like fold over ones like the ones we used to wear in high school from did aritzia sell them or lululemon i'm not sure but like i feel like it's just such a throwback um but either way i found these like low rise um or i think they're just a regular rise boot cut yoga pants and they're from gap body so the quality of these are so nice. 
and they just sit right above the hip. They're just really flattering when you wear it with like um, a camisole that like hits right above it and just shows like a peak of skin. Black pair of hot shorts. These are so flattering. I'm gonna take these and wear them with like black cowboy boots into the fall because people are getting mad at me that I posted <laughs> saying that is it fall yet, but like September's tomorrow. Like, I don't know when I'm posting this, but September's tomorrow, guys. Like, get with it. Last cami that I have is actually a cami dress. And another really good, also other good camis that I look for is like the ones with the built-in bras, just to give me a little bit more support or just like more coverage. But most of the time, um, I'll try and just wear nipple covers with them and then call it a day. Cami dress is so flattering. This is actually from, I think, M from Mendocino, Seven Sisters, I think that's the brand. I like when camis have this adjustable strap that goes all the way over, not just stops halfway through. That's also a really good thing to look for in camis. And this is just so stretchy and snatching and flattering. Like, I would wear this so many ways with like an oversized menswear, like vintage jacket. This is just gonna be so good. Such a good staple going into the fall. More of an oversized slouchy pair of shorts that would probably style like with the waist folded over. Oh, and they're by the brand Bum Equipment. That is such a 90s brand. This is like so crazy, like seeing all these brands, but I would wear this with like a cool baby tee. All of these things, I probably went on about maybe three thrifting trips now, but this handbag is like my favorite piece that I found so far. And it is vintage guess. This is so crazy. It's not perfect. She's not perfect. And she reminds me that I don't have to be perfect as well. Um, she has like a little bit of markings here, but I think I can fix that with maybe some nail polish or something. Um, but the shade of her, like look at this, this, sorry, like what I see. Oh, you found me from like my Jacqueline's uh, video. You know how I feel about pink. So let me just calm down a little bit. <laughs> Water. Um, this is such a good color. Okay, this is such a good color. And I like her a lot because she's bigger than my Jacqueline's bag, so I can fit like more day-to-day -day pieces. Don't get speechless. But she's like a little bit edgy because she has like some studs. Big, chunky, like hardware. Oh, but just a little bit more feminine. And she's a shoulder bag. I love the shape of her, like this little bowling look to it. Oh, this is such a good piece. Whoever had this, she was a baddie. She also like left some money in here. So the bag was basically free. <laughs> she left like four dollars in here. So clearly she's rich. The lining inside of this, oh my goodness. This gorgeous pink satin, oh, so good. And it's not dirty in there or anything. I can do a future video on how I like clean my thrifted pieces because I'm actually a germaphobe when it comes to like going to these places. So um, before I bring them in my house, I there's some stuff I do to them, but steaming helps a lot. She was only $11. <laughs> Baby tees now are all the rage. So if you're a Pinterest girly, you already know. The classic ones are cute, but quirky fun baby tees are a vibe. So this one from Nike, it says, you only got video game. So when I wear this, people are literally staring at me trying to read it. Um, it's actually really funny. I wish someone would have taken a hint when I was wearing this and they tried to come up and talk to me. But I wore it with like, oh, you guys have to watch my True Religion video if that's not up first. Um, I wore it with this True Religion mini skirt with like orange stitching and it was such a cute Aaron's outfit. Um, and I like knotted the back of this so it like came up a little bit higher on my back. Such a cute vibe. And the green and orange just make things so fun. These are also some of like my other top favorite um, baby tees. This navy blue Fila one. I love this so much. I wear this with a pair of like these Wrangler jeans I got, which I'm gonna show you and make them for you. So good. It's just simple. The font looks so vintage and nice. You literally look in the baby section. Like that's what you do. The little boy section for me, I usually try and gauge and get sizes mediums or larges um, because of my chest. Some of the baby tees I got ended up shrinking in the wash because the majority of them are cotton um, while well, they shrunk in the dryer. So be careful for that as well too. I have this white um, Nike one that says Las Vegas. I, I like the color combination on this. I've never been to Las Vegas. Um, it's on my bucket list, but like I'm not in a rush to. Um, so 
I just think this is really cute. This is one of my favorite ones. I like the conk. I like the color combination on this. And this one is by Tommy Hilfiger jeans. I'm not gonna lie, whenever I see this brand, it reminds me of that really big rumor that went around about him. It really confused me because I'm like, so many black artists in the 90s wore his stuff and he stood beside them, like Naomi Campbell, Aaliyah, I swear like Snoop Dogg and stuff. So yeah, apparently that was a rumor. Rest in peace to the late Tina Turner. I just, Love this one. I wasn't even looking. I was in a thrift store with my friend and I was like, I don't need to be here. I'm going to find something I like. And I did. <laughs> but I think I only found like three things that day. Um, and I like the blue color of this. Oh, I love her hair. I like how they did this pop of orange with her name. It was just really nice. And then on the back, it just has like some of her tour dates and places. This is a good band tee. Like this. Like I've been doing a lot of baby tees, but like I, it's been really hard for me to find a good band tee recently. And this one is it. I call her my like baby Goyard because I don't know, she's just giving slouchy, throw it all in. I don't have like a navy tote bag like this. So this was perfect for like every day and work. Um, and I just found with like the blues of like my jeans and like the t-shirts like this just goes so well with so many of the pieces like that gray Tommy one or the navy blue fila and just like throw all my stuff in like just running errands just getting my nails done like this is just it's giving Goyard it's giving Goyard without the price point this is actually from Saks Fifth Avenue I think it's their brand like they would make like little stuff yeah that's what it says here so it's like pretty good quality. I think I got it for like seven dollars. The thrift stores, I'm not gonna lie, are really expensive recently. Um, do your best to get a coupon. If you're going to Value Village, get a coupon. I just I just find it really weird to pay regular price for used clothing. And like if you want a pair of Levi's, they're like twenty dollars. I know inflation, but I don't know. Another really cool baby tee that's like kind of quirky. This one that says dude I don't know I think this is so fun I haven't worn it yet but I really want to wear this with like a white long skirt and like have it like tied up this little cap this little like vintagey cap like this is so with the red I just like when color combos just flow and just work navy and red is such a vibe red is so big for this fall I'm gonna do like a fall trend video get ready babes get ready have this other cross necklace, um, which is also like on that cable kind of like thread. It, this one's not adjustable though, but it's like this really pretty navy blue and it has like the gold detailing and it has like a dove on it. And again, with a lot of my blue and navy stuff, it'll be really nice. This little fun collegiate one says West Windsor football. I love, again, the color combinations. So the navy and the red was nice. Green and yellow look so good together. We love a back detail. Number two. I don't play sports now. I used to play volleyball. I used to be good at track and field. Honestly, if I did pick up sports again, I, I think I would be good. Is this possible? I feel like I'm athletic, but clumsy. It works. I swear it did work for me at one point. I do really want to pick up tennis because like there are people in my family that play. I have so many tennis outfits unintentionally, but um, this is the last baby tee and I like this little, is this a baseball detail from Old Navy? And it's a boys medium. So that stuff was like really cute and casual. Let's dress it up a little bit. We're gonna dress it up. I need to start with this jacket because this jacket goes crazy, all right?